Hello again, Struck Quap. Welcome back to my stream. And today we'll be playing Into the Pit, a game which I loved um, playing the demo of during the Steam Next Fest. Um, I think it was around a month ago or so when I played the demo and I loved it. It's the game where the end game starts from the get go. You spawn in and you're uh, jumping straight, in, straight into into going through those uh, realm rifts or whatever they're called. You're jumping straight into the thing that you would be doing um, throughout the whole game. It's a roguelite. Um, so yeah, you do lose some progress, but uh, you do also win based on how far you've gone, which is how a roguelite game should be. I loved it. I loved it. And actually my save file um, was detected. So the 50 something uh, minutes I've spent into the demo um, are saved. And since it's a game where I haven't missed much of the story, um, I, I will just continue where I left off after the demo. Those of you who haven't watched my, my demo, you could look um, through some of my past streams um, uh, from the beginning of this month, I think, when I was playing Into the Pit and see the first 50 minutes. But yeah, let's, let's just continue. See, 52 minutes game time. It, it's not much that we are missing there. Basically talking um, through the tutorial um, quests and stuff. I still haven't unlocked a single building. By the way, I've increased the field of view to the maximum possible. So you can see there's different buildings here. And to unlock those buildings, you need to save some villagers from hell. Uh, um, I still haven't unlocked any of those because I only have one villager rescued. So this game will take a while. It will take a while to unlock all the functionalities such as enchanters, merchants, uh, what was that one there? I forgot. This one is um, the key maker. So this one requires you to rescue three or more villagers. So this is probably the first one that we would get to unlock the key maker. The rune carver requires you to save Oh, this one, this one I've already unlocked. So this is the only functionality I have unlocked. See, this one would cost me a villager rescued. Oh, actually, I've just unlocked it. And it didn't cost. It just required one villager rescued to unlock. Okay. There are a lot of things that were walked during the demo. And since they are no longer walked, I can unlock them. And those rooms modify your run. So just give me a moment, I need to make sure everything's running properly, smoothly. Uh, I think it's all fine. There we go. Just need to slightly move the window. So there's runes I've never tried during the demo because they were locked. And you can see the more villagers you rescue, the better runes you get. You only have a choice of a few runes. Uh, runes. I think it was three or four runes. I think it was four. Um, sometimes getting double the amount. I would say what is the one I want to get double the amount. And the rest I won't unlock uh, yet. But modes of gold are nice. I guess you use it to buy runes, yeah. For now, let's just uh, jump into, into what the end game entails. Uh, over here you, you start a ritual. You see, you use a key here. For now I only have this key for the Obsidian Fortress. I guess eventually you would uh, start making better keys for better uh, places. Now, you put runes here. Uh, what I like is Second Wind from the starter runes. Small amount of modes of renewal, not bad, but I'd rather check the other ones. You receive increased damage from all sources, but gain extra mode each time you collect one in the pit, which means increased damage received 200%, so to double the damage. And this cannot be upgraded while others can be upgraded. I'm not gonna go for this one. This one is probably for more advanced players. 
Rune of HP I like. Now you can make some more runes here. Um, I would say Rune of Butt. And maybe... Renewal. And there you go. You jump into the portal. It's very trippy. I mean, this game um, I'm probably gonna play for a few days because I really liked it. It it uh, resonates with me nicely. And now, those things are upgrades that you can select. You can select one of the three powers. Eventually, as you keep progressing, you would unlock choices to, to upgrade powers. I'm gonna go for HP for now. Wait, can I get more? Oh yeah, you have to pick three. So we picked the defensive, we're gonna pick something for the left hand and something for the right hand. This is your starting um, starting arsenal. It's randomized, um, but I like to have on my left click um, a mid range and on my right click a long range. Fire bomb, long range projectile. This here I like to have. Shotgun is not bad. I liked shotgun. for mid to close range. Okay, we have four um, four rooms to clear and every room gives you two options and you can see the type of rewards you can get by going into the room. You see chamber of renewal and this is chamber of healing. I would get uh, renewal modes. Although Chamber of Healing, I, I would actually save the Chamber of Healing for when I need. Let's go mode for what? I guess this field of view takes a while to get used to, so I'm gonna go to the default field of view. I think 60 was the default field of view. Although it is nice to see more. Maybe I should just get used to 120. It feels a little bit faster with 120, but you do see much more, you see it twice um, the, on the sides. I don't know, it feels a little quick. Normally I play with 4th 120. It's gonna take me a while to get used to it, so let's go maybe to 4th 90. 90 doesn't seem so bad. I'm not seeing as much, but at least it's easier to control. Anyone ganking up on us? Okay, this one was a quick one. Oh, and we have to pick a reward um, after each room we clear. Mm. Plus two strength, plus one frost. My shotgun could have increased range. That's actually pretty good. So this is uh, chamber of renewal, this is chamber of embers. Let's go renewal. I 
kind of was reckless at the beginning. Thankfully it shows you at the top uh, when you're in a room whether you've collected all the molts and how many of the other things there are in that room. So we can upgrade rapid fire here. Slowing bolts. I intentionally kept the healing chamber for Wast, um, but maybe it's a good to go into the healing chamber now. Healing chambers are pretty much a free stage with just a chamber that heals you. Didn't fully heal me, but it was enough. Oh, I forgot to take my reward. Projectiles from your right hand inflict additional damage on critical hits. Not bad. Piercing through enemies, left hand. Can pierce one more. Um. Okay, let's go for more modes of blood. I forgot what was the whole story with the blood. Um, there was something, let me check in the controls. I think the modes of butter are the ones that can revive you if you die or something like that. I can't remember what it was but there was something uh, when you have 10 out of 10. Is there somewhere where I can read about that? I guess not. I forgot about it but uh, I, I think it, it had something to do with that. That thing that can revive you if you die and give you a second wind, I think, depended on, on modes of blood. Collected everything, maybe. Yeah, I think everything's collected. So let's go. Uh, yeah, this is incoming damage. I like that one. Now we can keep going uh, further, diving deeper. Depth 2. I think I reached depth 4 last time. Um, the, the most I, I reached was depth 4. Chamber of work. Chamber of but I'm gonna keep the chamber of but in case I need. Chamber of embers. Um, gold. I mean wealth. 
with this healing no look embers respite i forgot what respite was i think i'll do wealth Who else was attacking me? I need to reach the purple portal. To unlock the door. Door unlocked. Let's go. Could use a healing chamber at this point. The further down the depth you go, the, the more different enemies would show up. Obviously the harder it gets. Should we go embers? Let's go embers. <laughs> ah shit, spawn, spawn hit. Ah, traps. I forgot that traps existed in the game uh, after you reach um, depth 2. Let's kill the, the trash mobs first and then worry about turrets. Fuck, fuck. I might get destroyed. Shit. Yeah, I'm probably gonna use up my second life on this one. I could use some extra range uh, on my ranged weapons. <laughs> 12 HP. One hit and I'm down. But I have a second life. And I intentionally saved up... I intentionally saved up my... Uh, my blood mode. Um, 
room for in case I need it to recharge the, the second uh, second wind. Which jumps? Five HP left. Now, now I'm truly one hit left. Should I die and let it and let it uh, let it revive me? We have two of those extra blood mold um, thingies. Thinking of taking this one and in case I die I've got the other one with blood molds. Oh, what happens here? Chamber of Respite. I don't think I visited the Chamber of Respite before. It seems like a very nice chamber. Not sure what this thing here was. Um, Am I missing something? I think I've taken everything uh, I could. Left hand increased range. Uh, yeah, but... Let's get reduced damage for now. Barriers, barriers. Okay, I'm gonna go for that one. In case I die, I'm gonna replenish the, the modes. Oh, now there's the other trap. Maybe I shouldn't pick up molds yet. Oh man, look at that room. It's trap, 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 trap. It's uh, it's full of traps in this room. I don't know how to approach it. I'm gonna leave it for last. This is how you reach that room. Cheat that activated. Yeah, I kind of guessed it would have to be used during this stage. 
And now the next second the next second wind would cost 15 instead of 10. If I didn't collect all the molds, I might have recharged at least 6, 7, 8 of that 15 during this stage. So which way do I go now? Okay, we're at 5 out of 15. No modes collected. Okay. Time for this one then. And you're already at 64 HP, then they're doing a lot of damage here. This is good. The less damage I take, the better. Still haven't found any villagers, this is the thing that takes a while. Either I'm super unlucky or... There are just no villagers uh, yet. Normally, I found villagers in depth 2. So I know it doesn't happen in depth 1, but I know in depth 2, if you're lucky, you would find some. I'm gonna leave this, or should I do this now? To recharge my... Maybe it's best if I do this now. Why did I take damage? Thought it was only close range. Like melee range. Ten out of fifteen. Thirteen out of fifteen. Ah, shit, hell. How does it have a bigger range than me? At least I've refilled my blood uh, malt supply. All malts collected. So it's time. Maybe I should start re-rolling if um, if I don't like the rewards here. I need something that heals me.
Eh, not sure I like this, but okay. Was this used for? Used to forge key runes. Well, I still don't have that op um, functionality on walk, so maybe I don't need them right now. I need modes of work, maybe. But for now, let's get. Let's get this. Uh, realized there was one there. <laughs> Didn't see this guy. <sighs> there goes my sacrifice. Second wind. And he didn't revive me at full HP as well. Only at half. Not getting quickly with any healing chambers either. Or any vampiric powers or anything like that. I'm pretty sure there was some vampiric um, vampiric runes or something like that later on. Maybe I was mistaken. Hopefully there is. Who the hell hit me? This guy was hidden so he shouldn't have been able to hit me. There's more modes left somewhere. Here. Here. Maybe here. I've missed a mode somewhere. I don't know where. Here. Are all modes collected? Okay. Shit, I forgot where it was. Chamber of Healing, let's go. 136 out of 145 HP, not bad. It's 
it's always good to keep them for the right moment those healing chambers cool one last chamber left do I go for um, renewal or for wealth? Let's go wealth. Where is that caster? Need to get the caster. Okay, got it. Come on, show yourself. Don't be a pussy. Come on. There we go. A pussy cat hiding in there. Ah. There we go. left would be nice if I saw the, the enemy counter Should have collected more moats and stuff. Uh, slicing bolts. Mm. Deeper and deeper into the pit. I wonder how many depth levels there are um, in each of those keys. Oh, this one has villagers. Let's go. Okay. We just need to destroy the keystone and he'll return to the town. Getting 45 villagers will take a while to fully upgrade everything, to fully unlock everything. Does this explosion damage me? Is now what I wonder. Hmm. Inside. 
I might do inside, but before that, let's do this. Interesting text. Oh, perfect mode of but just what I needed. Only six, but uh, it's better than zero. Because I made a tough choice between but and this one, and yeah. Now, the only thing I can take is this one. Or I can refuse. I'll try inside. Shit. I have no things to hide behind. is too open too open get this before we grab the final one there's probably gonna be some more fighting We cannot climb up there. Why? Why is there no way to climb? We're probably not meant to be there. Okay, let's let's check what's here. All modes collected. They're gonna be fighting in this place. <gasps> ah! Come on, come on, stop, stop. Fuck. There was no safe spot. Well, I don't think I'm surviving the next place. Is this poison gonna expire? Maybe it's not gonna expire and I'm gonna die as soon as I go into the next one. I can go to the village to save this villager. Um, I'd rather play it safe. Because I've got one villager, I don't want to risk it. Now I have 2 out of 45. When I get 3 out of 45, I'm gonna unlock some new functionality. Let's 
Let's go maybe unlock some new stuff. I forgot where it was, um, the place I could interact with. The rune carver. I need this, I need to unlock this, so when I get 5, I'll, I will unlock those things, rune of the healing mode, rune of the healing key, those will be perfect, and healing pool as well, but for those, yeah, I need to unlock more villagers, so let's keep grinding. And um, this key master we won't walk as soon as we get one more villager. And then I can go for other fortresses, for other... And this one is the obsidian fortress, but I can go to other places if I unlock more stuff. Let's go. So one more villager, that's all we need to unlock the next functionality. Okay. Ah oh, shit, this only gave me long range? Really? Really? No way you we close range are you I think this one maybe could be something similar. Okay, well we don't have shotgun this time, so this is a healing chamber. I'm, I'm gonna save it for when it's needed. And maybe the best thing to start with would be this chamber so we can fill up our second life shit didn't get very lucky on the first uh, on the first drops uh, where I was picking the weapons. Fuck who? Can get lucky every time with the starter kit. sniping let's go chamber of work so we can get better spells I can hear it nearby
Not having shotgun <laughs> after getting used to it uh, takes a while to, to get used to the, the new weapon. I wish I could find villagers in depth 1, so far I, I've never seen a villager show up in depth 1. Too too early to use the healing, I'm gonna save it for Wast. Let's go for this one. Oh, that sniping upgrade was amazing. Can't reach yet. I can hear someone nearby. How do I get there? Is there... Is there no way to get back up there? There we go. Hmm... best and that's persecution plus three what does it mean acquire oh it means when I acquire it it's already at level three I need to get afflictions though so let's start working on afflictions I also need to increase my HP. So we've got this one and this one is but in case it's needed and we have a healing chamber no that's the work chamber let's start with that one 
journal entry ok a bunch of fire modes, cool instead of respite would have preferred um, a villager mode Let's take this one. Isn't it better if I snipe? one was the champion or elite or whatever okay stop Look at him, I can't fucking hit him. Okay, there we go. He was very dodgy. Okay, let's open that door. And this opens the other door. Let's grab this. Okay, this one's done. Cool. Afflictions. Well, next doesn't matter. I'm going to take that one. Cool. No. No. Nope. 
Nice. We've cleared all the monsters. Um, this one's good. Well, might as well go for more fire, because our butt is capped right now. Okay. wanted to, to surprise me. Lovely. Depth 3 now. Deeper and deeper. I think if the enemies don't do as much damage, but you also don't uh, kill them as quick, the game might be a little more... Um, how should I say it? Engaging. With all that extra damage. Because right now that extra damage I don't need as much. Especially extra damage to enemies afflicted by by um, two afflictions or more. That's gonna be rarely the case for an enemy to survive. Maybe on bosses. I'm not sure how bosses are in the game. Maybe there will be bosses where you would afflict them with two things. And that extra damage to, to afflicted enemies would actually be useful. Because right now by the time I hit them with both my afflictions they would be dead. So I can't wait to see a, a boss fight. So we have chamber of work, a healing chamber for uh, when it's needed. Another chamber of work, um, but here I'm probably gonna keep the butt chamber. I think I'm gonna start with chamber of work there, maybe move on to renewal or wealth here. I'm not sure what counts as spells. Increases the chance of receiving higher rarity spell upgrades. What does it mean? Does it mean powers? Is powers a spell upgrade? Maybe that's what it means. Because I think those are the spells. Left, right, hand. Uh, is that an enemy?
Okay. <gasps> hoo hoo. I'm getting hit from somewhere and I have no idea from where. See, that's the kind of enemy where you would need that uh, affliction extra damage. Takes a while to kill it. So at the beginning it might not be needed, but maybe later on you see more of those enemies with bigger HPs. <gasps> no. Ah! You have an unused healing, so there is that. All modes collected. Oh, never mind. Thought there were some more left. It's so good that it tells you. I'm gonna save the healing chamber. So let's go wealth. Okay, let's grab this. Ah, it's a caster, it's a caster, fuck. Let's kill it quickly. Okay, those towers take a while to kill as well. Where did the caster go? He was here but then wasn't. Maybe I killed it and didn't realize and then there was a new one. The one that I just killed. How many more modes? If only I could see. Okay, all done. I think it's time to go and heal, maybe. Or should we go to the butt chamber first and heal after? Wow, 
what I think I should do is go for this one. In case I die, I would just get some more of those modes. Fuck, Caster. I don't know where it is, but it is somewhere. Where did it hide? Ah! I still don't see where the caster went. I think there's this one here. Still haven't uh, used my first second win, so we're doing good so far. missing some molds. Not that I need it. Now we can go and heal. Unfortunately so far um, first three depths no villagers. This max HP perfect. Please give me a villager, come on, come on. I deserve a villager now. No, <laughs> they, they really need to increase the chance of getting villagers. It's, it's fucking unfair. That's what it is. It's unfair to not spawn villagers. Um, I mean, I'm at depth 4, I should have at least uh, unlocked a single villager so far. Knowing that you need 45 of those, um, it's super bad right now. Let's see this one, Chamber of Blood Magic. Upgrade your powers. Lose some HP in exchange for upgrading a random power. Oh, it's random, so yeah. Not a big fan of this uh, being random. Let's try once more. How much do I lose? I lose 15. If I could select which one to upgrade, then I would love it, but um, nah. 15 HP to, to upgrade something randomly. Too big of a gamble for me. 
Perfect Grim Reward. This is what I need. And this one doesn't have a healing chamber, so it doesn't have a boot chamber either. This is gonna be probably where where I have to restart the run. Why did I go into it? I saw myself going, I couldn't stop it on time. Okay, I wanna check how much HP I restore per Q. I'm at 53. Now I'm at 53 again. Why is it not working? Maybe it's, um, it's not 100% chance. Twenty five per cent chance, okay. I wonder how many kills I would need to do for it to trigger. I hope I can upgrade this power because um, having that upgrade to like fifty per cent would be perfect. You haven't gotten this to trigger. I've killed a bunch. 25% seems like a very bad chance in this game. In others, um, I, I see 25% triggering much more often. Okay, I got 1 HP. It triggered, but uh, it only healed for 1 HP, which is pretty bad. I mean, if it's gonna be 25%, it, it better heal for at least uh, 3 or 4 or even 5. We've accumulated a lot of work so far. 39 work. Hmm. Check this out. How did it hit me through the wall? Unfair.
Ok. Cool. Did I I've collected all modes, so let's let's move to the next one. Huh. Oh this can be a great level five. So maybe let's refresh. Ooh, haste goes from level one to four. Might be a little bit difficult to control now with this much speed. Maybe I made a mistake taking it. Who? Who hit me? Ah, oh, fuck. It's one of those uh, casters. I've revived only at 67 HP. I hope at the next depth I get a villager so I can just uh, get it and turn in. And depth 5, here we come. Please give me villagers, come on, at least one. Come on, please give me villagers. The dungeon heart, oh depth 5 is the dungeon heart, so maybe that's a boss fight? And I don't have HP, <laughs> no. <laughs> This will suck. Uh, I'm getting destroyed here. 68 HP, no second wind left. I can already smell myself dying here. At least there's no ads so far.
Oh no. And there goes the ads. And it's not just ads, it's towers as well. still alive something's preventing him from from respawning uh, from becoming vulnerable ah shit it's this fell here I did not realize Beat it. Dungeon cleared. Ooh, wood. Let's go. And the villager, yes. Yes. Nice. What else uh, did I unlock? So I came from here. There is a portal here and here that I can't access. But there was the wood and the villager here. And the keystone. So five five depths for the first type of dungeon, not bad. And now we have a key maker that can make us new keys for new for new dungeons. Let's let's check it out. Key to the fungal hollows, a key to the corroded docks, the petrified forest, uh, shadow catacombs. So those require 12 villagers. Then there's this one that requires 30 villagers. Um, probably gonna be very difficult. I'm gonna buy a key for this and a key for that. And... I need two more villagers to get the healing ones, which will make things so much easier. This one needs nine villagers to get unlocked. It's gonna take a while. So I need to complete one more pit dungeon fully and then not sure what will happen. Okay, slow and steady. Does this guy have anything to say? Oh, I can have two keys. Two keys. Does that mean once I finish one dungeon, I can go straight away to the next when I have two keys? What happens when you use two keys? So instead of fungal hollows or corroded docks, it becomes the fungal docks. 
kind of like uh, fusing them, fusing two different worlds together. I wonder if I made it too difficult by selecting a fusion. Please give me good stuff, come on. No shotgun? Not a, not happy with this, but okay. And I have shotgun here, many. I wish I could swap them out, but anyways, I need long range. This one's good though. Fen is not so bad. So we have a healing chamber, we have wood chamber, work chamber and another work chamber. Let's go with the work chambers. I wonder what enemies there will be in, in this place. There's definitely some difference in, in the enemies. Some are the same, some are different. Ah! get the other work chamber so in this dungeon there will be a total of three villagers apparently if I clear it out completely I should be able to get three villagers that zergling come from behind left where did I miss some molds uh, 
I'm missing uh, at least one or two modes. Hmm. Okay, maybe this one. There we go. I think it's time for a butt chamber to fill up the butt. Oh, increase HP this early. Perfect, I like that. Let's go for the butt. Oh no, didn't realize there was one more. At least I'm full in terms of blood modes uh, for, my sec for my second wind. Boss fights executioner won't be a bad thing uh, for the final few percentages of HP. <laughs> mm. One more left. Uh, I'm gonna go for healing, obviously. Fully healed, perfect. Alright, depth 2. I wonder if this will have um, four depths and then the boss room as well. Or whether um, this one would be bigger um, than the other. I don't know how this works. Outgoing attacks hurt the attacker. Does it mean every time it attacks, regardless of whether it hits me, it takes damage? Or does it mean it only takes damage if it hits me? Hopefully I don't need to take the damage for them to get hit um, by, by the curse. <laughs> Alright. We have work modes, probably we'll start with that. Oh, we have villagers, let's start with this. Mm. I'll get as much affliction as I can, it's gonna help on boss fights. Alright, work. Let's get work. Right now I'm at 26. Um, I can hear it. Okay, initial first wave of enemies cleared.
new types of traps are getting introduced. Oh, this one explodes. No. I got poisoned as well. Or burnt, whatever. Wait, does this spawn uh, enemies? Perfect. A little bit of healing uh, never hurt anyone. Unless you're an undead, and then a little bit of healing um, hurt many undead. So I'll save the the blood the blood modes for last and go for this one. Ah. Where did this one come from? And when? It's as if they're teleporting next to me over here. Is there a teleporter enemy? I guess when, when you're exploring something for the first time, there's a lot of unexpected variables. There's some... Yeah, let's, let's uh, end this one. for this one.
Ne. All modes collected. Dep three, here we come. Well, I wouldn't want piercing on my left hand, but not much I can do about it. Wanted it on the right hand. Okay, give me a villager, depth 3, give me a villager. There's a healing chamber and if I start with it, I think that's gonna be the best thing I can do. Starting with the healing chamber. So that I, so that I don't use my second wind early. Vampirism. Right hand, so my snipe hand, unfortunately. If only it was my, my left hand to get vampirism. Maybe I'll have to change it so that my right hand um, next time I play the game. I wonder if vampirism can 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 row for both hands or, or whether it's strictly right hand because if it's strictly right hand uh, i'm gonna stop using sniping on my right and reverse it and use aue spread shots on the right hand because this one with vampirism would have been amazing all right um what do we do work there's work there's wealth and then there's blood let's do work we are right now at 38 work. gonna come here Vampirism is good.
Let's take this. Done with this. I gained a lot of HP during this round from 1046 or whatever to 122 by trying to use my vampirism as much as possible. Okay, and next, next, um, I'm gonna go for wealth. Where is the welcoming committee? They can't reach me here, it seems. No, jump down. Oh, and we filled our HP, lovely. Vampirism for the win. by the way of the game so where do I go now ah, here Closer and closer. Hmm, this is great. Left hand persecution. It's level three. It's gonna help on bosses a lot. Okay, well, we're gonna take the blood in case I die. <laughs> Who hit me? Ah, this uh, fella.
Man, where did... Shit, and I'm poisoned. No. Oh, oh. Neither. Fuck, I'm gonna die from the damn poison, really? This is gonna be a tough one. And the explosion. The on death explosion got me. My healing's um, not that great. Um. At least there's a lot of blood knots left to collect to recharge my second wind. still need nine bird modes to to recharge my resurrection it's getting risky now very risky because if i die i lose my my rewards Depth 4, give me a villager. If I get a villager, I can return after collecting it. Without needing to push to the end. Villager, yes. Okay, so if I leave now, I would have 5 villagers and that would let me get the healing uh, runes. Which would really help. I don't see a healing room, so I don't think it's worth risking. Two villagers is uh, good enough for me. Now I have five and I can upgrade stuff. Okay. Can't make those yet.
Should we try Corroded Docks with um, Obsidian Fort as a mix? Obsidian Docks. Healing Key, Healing Mode, and maybe Second Weed. We uh, second wind. I could remove the extra HP. And removing the second the extra HP would um, would allow room for either in the healing pool. Or um, the rune of fortune. Let's go like this this time. I really like how they've designed this. It lets you pick the stuff you want, make the the rift the way you want it. There's still the randomness of this. Shotgun or fan? Fan is good. Shotgun is good as well. Hmm. Early vitality. Nice. So a healing chamber, we will we'll leave it for Wast. A work, probably what we start with. So maybe work, maybe some renewal. And 12, and then healing. Healed for four just by um, taking that uh, key. That's not bad. Healing for four. And maybe it's uh, based on a percentage. Maybe it's not a flat heal. And maybe if I have more HP um, in my HP bar, uh, the maximum HP, maybe it would heal more. Need to experiment with this. hit myself with those uh, bombs that's how it works so fire bomb does damage to me gotta be careful with it
Ah, oh, fuck. That's what I'm talking about. Needing to be careful. Elemental mode heals. Does every mode count as elemental? Or does it need to be fire? Oh yeah, every mode is 1 HP. Oh, that's great. That means if I start to run with full HP, I should avoid picking up modes until I need to heal. Shit, uh, I didn't know that was the last one. Damn. Could have healed some more. Ah, damn it, did this thing. At least the AOE explosion makes it so that I don't need to do a direct hit to do damage. Is this the final mode? extra crit chance bleeding this one and healing chamber now One. And 
deeper. I can't remember what the next threshold for uh, villagers is. I think it eight villagers I unlock one of the one of the buildings. Let's save this villager. So I'm seeing two two chambers of work. Let's do them. <laughs> really gotta have um, 360 vision in this game to be able to to stay over to at all times. Um, I'm keeping my HP up. Oh, sniping. Nice. This one's next. I can... Oh! I can try and push this to the end. I wanna see if I can complete this to the end. It will be perfect if I get a vampirism for the left hand or for both hands even better. Okay, this one was blue, champion aura or whatever. Oh, 
Oh, there's still molds left. I thought I was done with them. This was close. And there's two more left. Okay, finally. some afflictions although that uh, rapid fire would have been perfect I can hear them Here. <gasps> Fuck. And um, Derek um, guy just uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you Derek for the YouTube sub if you're watching. Welcome to the Struck Club to you officially. And uh, really appreciate that. It helps me grow the channel. ready to roll. Then I'm at 100 uh, HP. Depth 3, here we come. Mm. As much as uh, I like this, I think this one would be better as an upgrade.
Wait, what? Upgrade to level 5? Because it's already level 4. Mm hmm. Maxed out. Okay. Depth 3. I'm gonna try and push this to the final depth and, f and do the boss. So I can push my main quest. Any villagers, any healing chambers? Work once, work twice, work thrice. Um, work four times. Well, I know what I'm starting with. I wanna fill up my, my second wind in case we need it. I feel like there's gonna be some enemies over there. See, managed to trigger something. They'll be coming my way now, and they know the way. We just have to wait for them. Oh no, not a fucking caster. I hate those casters. How am I gonna deal with him now? There's another caster somewhere and he's hiding somewhere up there and I can't see it and I can't hit it and it's fucking annoying. Fuck, the stupid caster. If only I could see where he is. He's got um, immense range. And it's not fair if you can't reach it and hit it, uh, but it can reach you. Did I kill it somewhere uh, among those mobs or is he still alive? Hopefully there are no more casters. Fuck, now I have to revive. Wasted that revive. Now I have to fill it up. 
15 blood modes. It's gonna be hard to get 15 blood modes before the boss fight. Okay. We have one healing chamber. I'm gonna use the healing chamber now. Full HP, good. It's not giving me much blood, um, blood molds, uh, which is not that great. Extra damage on the bombs. This would help on the boss fight. Alright, it's work. I got Okay, good. I'm gonna try and play it safe. Okay, no triggered spawns. Oh, there's a caster somewhere. Next. I'm not sure if that only works if they hit me or if they're trying to hit. In any case, it might be nice, especially if it works on the boss and if the boss has melee.
cool. Okay, this one to unlock the first door. Unlock the second door. Okay, no more enemies. Oh, this one level four, yes. Depth 4, here we come. Maybe a villager? <sighs> Let's see. Villager. I'm gonna start with that one. Okay, this thing. I'm gonna grab this one. Although maybe I should have grabbed it later. Another um, another chapter here unlocked. Because this would have healed me by by a bunch if I left it for when I need it. Maximum on this. Hmm. Maybe it's good to get this. Okay, next step, blood modes. We want to get 15. Maybe there's not going to be 15 in this map. Hopefully there is.
Okay, let's grab this. I'm gonna save this keystone for later if I need healing because the keystone is 4 HP healed. And back to 134 HP. And back to full HP. Okay, this one's great for the boss fights. Now just this one left, a little bit of extra work. Why did that one run away? I'm gonna save this in case I need healing later. I guess we don't need healing, so let's collect. And we're off to the boss fight without managing to collect all the um, all the second wind, but we needed. 
If only I could get two more um, wood modes, would have been great. So if I die at the boss fight, I'm dead. No, no revive. Hmm. Oh, left hand 100% damage or grim reward. Let's go 100% damage. Boss fight. Here we go. I hope we can do it. I mean, I've got uh, super nukes this time. If those nukes are not enough, I don't know what will be. Oh, I don't know the mechanics of this one. Where is the caster? There we go, the caster is here. There's someone left still. I can't see where. Where is it? I think some projectiles thrown my way. It's there. I think this one will heal it if it reaches. Beat it. Nice. Well, time for wood. Another journal page. Mount of insight. Nice, now let's see what my main quest will be after after completing two pit dungeons. What's gonna happen? Rune Carver has more wares to offer. We have eight uh, total villagers which unlocks a new building if I'm not mistaken. Is 
Isn't that the same old stuff? Seems like that's the same old stuff. Same keys. What NPC did I unlock? I'm pretty sure I unlocked something. Oh, this one requires 9 villagers, so one more villager and I can return for the enchanter. The enchanter would be an interesting NPC. For merchant we need 18 villagers, so 10 more. Ok, it's gonna take a while. I guess let's go, um, let's um, get one villager and then come back. I'll do a fungo. Fungo fort. Obsidian holes, okay. Wait, what if I do this and then... It's still obsidian holes, regardless of how you mix them. I wanted to see if it could become fungo fort. So this is a suggestion from me. Make it so that, for example, fungal holes plus obsidian fort could either be a fungal fort or obsidian holes, depending which one's here, which one's there. That way you would double the amount of possible possible dungeons. Sure, that's gonna require a lot of development, um, but still, it's interesting if, if it worked that way. Did I just unlock um, extra two slots of runes? I used to have two on this side and two on this side, now I have three on this side and three on this side, which would definitely make things much easier now. See that's what I had last run, and now I have two more. I can put run of fortune and I can put... Um, Should I put healing pool? This one. I'm not gonna be completing this until the end. Um, I'm just gonna grab one villager and bail. Which means we need at least um, at least depth two. If I'm lucky, it's gonna be depth two. If not, um, three or four. Mm, unlucky. Mm, the bump again. Swarm. Okay, that's not bad. Let's start with this. Ah! that's available nice Mm. 
gonna save the healing chamber for last. Let's go for wealth. Could use some gold. expect this guy to show up right out of nowhere There's more to collect. Where? grab this I don't need the fire yet but it will be needed soon Back to max HP. Um, on the right hand, perfect. If I get extra damage as well on that right hand for boss fights, it will be the best. Although I don't, uh, I'm not planning on going for the boss fight. I just need one villager, and then I'm gonna return to see the new functions. But if it's a good run, I might push it until the end, who knows. So far it's a good run.
Oh, villager. But I'm, I'm very eager to see what um, what the new NPC will unlock. It was the enchanter, if I'm not mistaken. This is used to enchant runes. Man, I barely have any of this. Not getting lucky with uh, with um, those r rooms. Let's go. Let's go check it out. So that's what it is. It allows me to upgrade. Mm, that's amazing. Oh, and you can upgrade to level 3 as well. Oh, this is amazing. I need to find more of those uh, purple ones. See, this is this is what roguelike games need. They need permanent progression, and and I like it when games have that. Whereas, what was that game I played recently? Swordsery, Swordsery, the demo at least didn't have um, permanent progression. Every run you start exactly from the same um, from the same um, point, and it felt wrong. Whereas uh, this game and Dreamscaper, for example, um, to give two examples of games I've recently played, do have uh, certain things that you upgrade um, that make your next run better, easier for you, based on what you've unlocked. Right, give me a moment to feed my pet. By the way, Sky, show yourself. Come, come show yourself. Come, come, come. This is Kai. Let's feed him. A little bit of ASMR. Oh, as soon as he heard the food, uh, he couldn't, he couldn't um, be held anymore. Stay, stay, stay. Okay, eat. What should we do? I'm, I'm doing this until the end, um, so I want to do something I've not done before. Let's do Corroded. Obsidian Docks. Did I do Obsidian Docks before? Uh, I don't remember if I did. Actually, I'm not gonna grab this, I'm gonna grab... I'm gonna grab this. Not bad for a first uh, pick, it's actually pretty nice. Mm 
Okay, we've got the fan and we've got the bomb. I'll start with um, refilling my my second wind. Oh no. Hundred and fifty starting HP is pretty nice. It allows me to be a little bit more aggressive. All modes collected. All right, let's uh, wrap this up. And healing eight instead of four for each keystone is pretty cool as well. I'm doing this run till the end. Curses. Um, there we go. Look, I'm gonna do two times work and then maybe healing pool. We'll see. If I don't feel the need of a healing pool, I'm just gonna do whatever. Uh, it's the other one. I think it was fire. HP Okay, let's wrap it up right hand so I want to get crit chance crit damage and damage on right hand to melt bosses quickly with my nukes hmm. There's gotta be some more modes I've missed. Why can't I find them? There's at least one somewhere. Come on. Show yourself. 
Maybe it's over here somewhere. There we go. This full sniping is nice, but let's go defensive first. I don't need the healing well, so I'm gonna go wealth. some molds still okay got them all okay depth 2 I think the the more expensive keys probably have more than five stages of depth whereas the cheaper ones uh, only have five Oh, right hand increased damage, nice. Now I just need the crit chance and it will be, will be good. Let's go deeper. All the way in. Mm, no villagers yet. Work number one, work number two, work number three. But I want to try this chamber, chamber of God magic. Okay, that's enough. We don't want to die right away. This chamber is good so when you encounter it early. Because when you encounter it early, you don't have that many things and it's gonna upgrade. Uh, there's less things to choose from in terms of what to upgrade. Okay, I hope I don't get destroyed <laughs> in the next room. Level 3, well, I like this. Work time. Okay, 51 HP already. Oh, I forgot about traps. Thankfully, it didn't hit me. <gasps> Fuck. I'm back 
238. Okay, 46. Fuck, fuck. This shouldn't have happened. I got hit way too many times in this one. Instead of healing I'm just stuck around 40 something. Okay, 8 more HP for this keystone. Mm. Left hand increased damage. Oh, that's pretty great. Okay. Now. One more work room. Fuck, 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 fuck. reach 100 HP let's not get hit Okay, 80. Slowly and steadily recovering the lost HP from the sacrifice. Um, hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Let's grab this. Cool. Who shot this? Who is shooting? Okay, ninety four. Hundred and five. Thankfully, already over hundred HP. There's a moat somewhere that I'm missing. Okay, 117. Depth 3 mm, No villagers Wow, okay, that's strange Depth 3 and still, still to find the villager room Thankfully there's plenty of blood modes I'm gonna start with work Fuck, why did I do this? Those damn casters, um, the most hated enemy for me is the, those casters. Eighteen. Oh. 
fuck, who? Damn it. Just when I got 220 something. sniping that way we're maxed out now how's my work by the way 86 work, wow. <laughs> Upgrading the crit chance, yes, please. More work. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Caught me by surprise when I was clearing my eye. Okay. That went uh, very badly. I mean, just the moment I would stop to clear my eye, this guy will show up. Now, from max HP starting this level, I'm down to half HP. Uh, work. Is that the limit? Can I get more than 100?
Ah, no, not a caster. Fuck, 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 fuck. I got stuck. Man, we're down to seventy nine HP, so bad. So now do I go for a healing well or for blood molds? I'm gonna go for the healing well. Just to be on the safe side. Extra range increase, that's so much sniping. Alright, depth 4, here we come. tempted by this okay I'm not gonna do more that's enough Is there gonna be a villager spot? This is nice. This was this was a very strange run. No villagers encountered um, through depths one to f to four. So does that mean that at the boss after the boss there will be three villagers at the end? Mm. We 
Work doesn't seem to go over 100, does it? Let's let's put that to the test. 100 is the limit for work. Shit, I'm bleeding. Oh, it goes over 100, never mind. Right, almost refilled my max HP. So my right hand now has 20% bonus crit damage, 30% additional damage, extra range and extra, wait what, 40% damage and 30% crit damage, oh and uh, 20 crit chance, so 20 crit chance, 30 crit damage and 40 regular damage, I need to upgrade this one and this one. Let's do that. Okay, next um, some more modes left probably. So far I'm loving this game. 
This will take a while to unlock everything. <laughs> but uh, once I do unlock everything, I might make a What the Struck is video and and a website version of the of the first impressions as well. Last level before the boss. Oh, trap. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I forgot. That bleeding. I don't think I can return back to max HP before the boss fight. There aren't enough modes and enemies to do that remaining. <gasps> Fuck. Screw max HP, I wanna get at least 100 HP. I mean sure, I have a second wind, so if I die during the boss fight I'm gonna revive. Okay, we will at least get 100 HP. This one. Here we come, boss. Now, what kind of boss do we get?
Who is left? This one. Okay, we beat it. Stacking this much crit chance, crit damage, and damage on the left, on the right hand, really helped to burst him down quickly. Another journal page. More of those in sight modes. And more of those in sight modes. So no villagers. This one was a very bad run. Zero villagers. Very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. Why? It says uh, three villagers. I didn't see a single one. But when creating this, it says that there would be three villagers. So we are still at 9 out of 45. That kind of sucked. Alright, what do I upgrade next? Um, more villagers for this and that's understandable let me first do something I wanna check. Twelve villagers. need to remember what the ones I need. I think masteries are good. Let's go. Wonder if I can do more than one more run. Let's try like that. Hmm, grim reward again. From the beginning. No more bombs and needle it is.
<laughs> there is a bomb here, but too late now. Hmm. Healing wave there. We, we will let it um, be. Let's start with work. Oh shit, we don't have uh, a nice long range ability to snipe with. That's not great. Should I just restart this run? I'm gonna restart this run. I don't like uh, my starting uh, weapons. Oh shit, I'm, I'm at the fungal docks. Hmm. I have to die. I'll just do this. This and this. This sucks. Shotgun, nice. Is there a healing wave? One healing wave. So let's start with work. This is probably the most snipe um, of them all. And if I give it even more range, it's gonna be amazing. This also seems to do the most damage per hit from all the weapons. All mods collected, let's go. It seems like they went for the cheap design where they're just uh, reskinning um, certain levels. It's the same level, same level layout, just reskinned to have some, some fungi and stuff around it. Kind of strange. Maybe, maybe if I start doing uh, just one key instead of mixing two keys, maybe it will be different. I 
I hope eventually with some future updates they add more different level layouts and stuff to the to the pool. Because there are several, but eventually you would start seeing them repeating. So crit damage. Oh, that was on left hand. Well, not bad still. But I want a right hand build. Unless I can switch them, my left and right. I mean, I could re rebind uh, left and right to be different buttons. Switch the buttons between them. Shit, who hit me? Shotgun with extra range would be pretty strong for bosses to, to keep your distance and just nuke them. Because on bosses shotgun probably would hit with every with every single projectile. So manually shooting is faster than holding the button. This is holding the button. This is manually shooting. I'm gonna grab this one. This one was a quick one. Don't like this. Even when upgrade it's like 2 seconds or 3 seconds. I think 2 seconds is the maximum. So not using something for 2 seconds. Just to get a guaranteed crit. Doesn't seem that great to me. Unless you have max damage and max crit damage stacked from other buffs. I don't need the healing well, so let's go wealth. Damn, that poison fucked me up real good.
Mm, nope. one. I could reroll. Although increased range is actually pretty solid for right hand. Let's see my range now. Mm, hopefully I can upgrade this. Deeper and deeper. It's 11.34 pm here. Not sure how long this run will take, but it might be the last for today. We'll see. I'll start with work. Actually, no, let's start with this. Oh, no, maybe I should have started with work. And then do this. Them poison. Cool, this way. Ah, damn it, why didn't I move on time? No, I got poisoned. At least got my cheat that's um, recharged. Hmm. Let's go heal up here. New journal page. What is it with the journal pages? I'm not sure what those do. Might help you piece together a sense of what has happened here, both to the village and uh, your cousin. I guess when we collect all of those, uh, something will happen. Oh, 
I could increase power. I forgot I could increase power of those rewards. I haven't been using this um, and I should start. I just keep forgetting about it. Let's try increasing the power now. Oh no, that's refuse power, not increase, never mind. Would have been overpowered if it was increased power. Must have misread earlier. Finally crit hit for the right hand. If I can get that to 20% crit hit, or I think 25 was the limit. Before the boss fight, it will be amazing. Grab this. gonna spawn I have a feeling someone's gonna spawn here never mind then Perfect, uh, more crit chance for the shotgun, not for my nuke, but still. Alright, depth 3. 8 more rooms and then it's time for the boss. Healing wave, I'm gonna save it for last. Let's go for work. I'm only at 26 this time. Because I didn't take the, um, the chance to get double work drops.
Aha. Cheat, 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 cheat. Fuck, got hit. Let's see. No. Left hand more crit instead of right hand. Um, still better than the others. I'm gonna save my rerolls for when I really think it's terrible. Here it, there we go. I didn't even realize there was a ranged enemy there. Right. And this level's done. Next. like this but let's do this at least to to do some extra damage to the bosses when they're low HP
cool. Ah, damn it. I got poisoned. Look at that, that's like... 29 HP just for that one hit because of the poison. No, 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 now bleeding. Fuck. down to 101 HP that all of them it seems like I've missed some modes guess this one here well left hand increase uh, hand increased uh, crit I mean, it's not what I wanted, but it's better than the other choices. Should I heal or should I get some gold? I think gold is better. I can heal while collecting gold if I'm careful. second of distraction and now I'm gonna go down to 80 HP or whatever Okay, not so bad, 133 HP. Hmm. I'm gonna do this. Because those are very hard to come by. Five of them. 
Very good hole. Mm. Speaking of the devil, there we go. Chamber of Insight. But before that, I'm gonna grab this one. And hopefully there's some insight modes in the chest. No, wood modes. Unlucky. Heal myself up to max HP and then go to the inside chamber. Okay, inside. There we go. One keystone. Hundred fifty nine damage. Wow. Hmm, interesting. I would have put something in there. It looks like the perfect place to hide some some wood, maybe a moat. But okay. We're done with this. Nine inside modes. That's pretty nice. Now I have 26. I can do some enchanting with those. Huh. Okay, it's time for this one. Last two rooms before the boss. Should have waited. After pulling the aggro.
Then. Okay, this one. Fantastic. Let's um, let's see what's happening now. Final room left. I'm probably gonna row if I don't like the options. And for the final room, we're going for fire. This bot's not needed right now. No, fuck. Took so much damage already. Damn it. Losing focus for a moment and then we get wrecked by poison and bleeding and all sorts of bullshit. Now I'm at 2 fucking HP. Boss fight is coming soon. be dying on the boss fight that's for sure with 16 HP but um, I have a second wind so as long as I don't use up my second win in this round we are okay
Ok, 30 HP. Not too bad. So 44 HP is what I will start the boss fight with. Not ideal, but it's what we got. Oh, and finally, um, right hand projectile increased damage 80% from 20 jumps to 80. This will be great. Let's go burst down this bish. Final boss of the day probably, because it's already 6 minutes past midnight and I don't think um, I can do in a half an hour another run unless I super speed through it. Fuck, and this one can poison! Oh no! This will be amazingly difficult, because it's uh, poison poison everywhere. Ah fuck, and the basic enemy is that it spawns, also can poison. Yep, there it is. The second wind, uh, I don't think I can win this fight. Uh, 68 HP, just not enough. Maybe I can win, thanks to my damage to enemies and the 20% HP. There we go. Extra damage to low HP targets helps, saves the day. Phew. Oh, and more modes of insight, nice. And the villager finally, at least one. Another run where I didn't see villagers, um, at least this one had one during the boss room. Kind of been getting very unlucky with the villagers. At least I can enchant stuff now. But the problem is I need 18 villagers to enchant some of the other things. Yeah, that was good. We've got some good stuff. Mm, this is probably gonna be it for today. So, thanks everyone for watching. More of this tomorrow. I really like it so far. It's fun and you start right from the beginning with the end game. Sure, you can unlock more things, you can unlock more uh, more zones, harder zones, etc. 
but it's the same experience and I like it. I like that you don't have to bother with some boring story or whatever. Uh, and you just jump right in to the rifting, to the, um, to the portals. So thanks everyone for stopping by, for watching me play into the pit. Um, keep it cool until next time and goodbye.